Hi everyone, Tim Coffey here. Today I'll be showing you how I made these embellishments. This is the same method I used for a lot of the embellishments in my 100 subscribers giveaway. Here's what you'll need for this project. Golden Brand Molding Paste. This is an acrylic gel medium. You could substitute Gloss Super Heavy Gel by Liquitex for the molding paste. Or you could use any color of tube acrylic paint as a substitute. You'll also need a tube of iridescent bright bronze acrylic paint. Black acrylic paint. Masking tape. A paintbrush. An old pen or pencil and a scrap of paper. First, I tape the scrap of paper to the pen using the masking tape. I loaded the brush with a nice blob of the molding paste and painted a heart shape in the center of the scrap of paper. This is what gives the embellishment dimension, so you want to put it on really thick. Sorry I'm a little out of frame there. Then I lined the edges of the scrap of paper by sort of scraping the brush along the edges. When I'm done, I just rest the pan inside a mug or, or something um, to let it dry. Here's the same technique again. This time I'll use the gloss super heavy gel. It's really very similar results that you get. Again, you could also substitute any color of the tube acrylic paint for this step because we're going to be painting over the whole thing in black after it dries anyway. So it really doesn't matter whether you're using the molding paste or the transparent gel or the tube acrylic paint in any color. If you find sometimes that the blob of paint or gel medium doesn't want to stick, Sometimes it helps to give the brush a little bit of a twist as you're putting it down. So you can just twirl the brush a little bit. Also, if you find it difficult controlling the brush and painting a shape, you might want to check out episode one. In episode one, I show how you can use a template or a stencil to apply the gel medium or the paint or the molding paste and it's a little bit easier to control so you don't have to freehand a shape. You can also use the opposite end of the brush if you want to make some corrections and scrape away some of the uh, excess paint or molding paste. You can see here that the molding paste dries an opaque cream color and the, um, the gloss super heavy gel dries transparent. It's still a little cloudy because it's not 100% dry, but it's dry enough that we can continue the project and paint on it.
Now I'll finish up by dry brushing the iridescent bronze paint on top of the black. You want to keep the paint thin and you don't want to completely cover up the black. You want some of the black showing through. The project is complete. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.